previously on Roll Britannia. What are you doing here? Put your animals away. What do you mean by animals? I've got no animals here. These. I coast them on. The name's <laughs> Etchum. Cash Etchum. Are you here for the big tournament? Yes. Welcome to my laboratory. I've been working on a little Professor. machine. What does it do? Why don't you hop inside and I'll show you. No Automatically You've stepped Kef. out. Yeah, I'm the original. I'm a dragon cat. I like invisibility. This is cool. And I can fly. I'm a dragon. Gallop, duh. A boulder like creature with stumpy appendages that act as arms and legs. I need you to steal some badges. Barry, Barry, he's the orc. Good luck with signing up for the tournament, whoever you were. Barry, and don't uh, you forget it. I'm a tournament maker. Do we all sleep in the same accommodation? <laughs> no, silly. You've all got your own apartment. Where do I go if I need my Icosamon get injured? Uh, you can take them to the Icosamon Center. Cash, how's it going? How about a practice battle? It's Steric time. Look at you. I choose you. Look at you. A blast of lightning strikes you, Derek. Walk it oh. off, Derek. Go for the trainer. You splat up against a sort of magical shield. Derek, step out. Jeff, I choose you. Hey, I'm ready to do this. Shits itself. And dive straight back into his icosis. Maurus, get that look at you under control. Let's turn into cash. Look at you. Can you go back? Okay. I guess that's a victory. Yeah. I need you two to go and find an icosa ball for Derek while I go get him patched up. Go to the shelf with the icosaspheres to the counter and hand over my 10 gold. Just this, is it? Jeff is going to cause loads of things to like fall off the shelves. It's going to take me hours to sort Quick. this mess out. out the Turn invisible and follow him out the shop. Grand <laughs> <laughs> All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action. gonna um hold up one enormous rocky testicle <laughs> well is there a bump on it um at least you're showing me that rather than what i imagine is the rockiest prostate i've ever seen well if you think that's bad you should see the other two. <laughs> oh, really <laughs> the other two <laughs> you could change formation you could go one 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 or one two do you know how they turn a gallop dur into a female gallop <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's a joke no one else will get. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you head inside, you're Just you're greeted close. by uh, uh, the doors sort of magically part in front of you, you know, and they make that little sound, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a piece of paper sliding into an envelope. It's Not a man yeah, sniffing into a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my nose is clear. <laughs> Oh, this this covered in snot. <laughs> don't don't edit that bit out, yeah. Chip. No, I'm just going to leave all of these in. Everyone can sniff to their no, heart's content for this bit. <laughs> yeah, good. That's the noise they make. Get them all out. And uh, as, as you enter, you're greeted by quite a bright environment, but curiously sterile smelling. You know, the sense of the sense of bleach is in the air, and you can hear a faint. Uh, beeping sound off in uh, off in the distance somewhere, and you see ahead of you another grand machine, and come running up to you wearing a a, a sort of uh, white uh, nurse's outfit um, is a uh, is an orc, unsurprisingly. <laughs> Shocker! And oh, this orc runs up to you and says, this "Oh is... goodness me! What this... has happened to your gallop door?" This is like something out of one of your magazines, Kath. <laughs> We're not with him in it. He looks horribly injured. He is. Oh, and uh, disfigured. No, Derek. he's always been disfigured, but he is very injured. Hey. What is he doing out of his eye, Kosable? Well, I thought speed was of the essence. You'd have a look at him straight away. Don't worry about that. Look at him. So you thought t- making this injured gallop door, poor thing that he is... Drag his poor stony body all the way over here instead of just shrinking him up into a nice convenient pocket sized ball, you might say, and uh, and carrying him over here at the speed of an orc. It's to um, remind him of how lucky he is. Now, can, you I, just, can I do a performance check to, 
Can I do a performance check to make myself look as pathetic as possible? Yes, please do. Roll, <laughs> roll performance. Yep. Um, roll that's a, a check. charisma, right? That's a natural thirteen. No I mean, you, you look a. I mean, you look a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, you look a little bit sort of sad and a little bit, you know, not not quite the full tiny Tim, but you know, you, you're on you're on your way there. <laughs> Imagine, imagine if you will, Tiny Tim as though portrayed by a slightly poor uh, amateur dramatics group. Um, <laughs> possibly one, I don't know, named after a, a flavour of ice cream. Anywho, this, uh, this nurse figure sort of has, has come up to you, Derek, and has started patting you quite, quite genteely. Oh, and just... oh, a bit lower. I know, I know. It's quite, it's, it's okay. I'm going to look after you. Can you please put him in his icosa ball, please, so I can get him all treated up nice, as quickly and as easily as possible. <sighs> broke icosa ball. I broke it. Girl of Derrick. I'm just going to sort of shrug a little bit. <laughs> Will you stop twittering on about icosa balls and just go and treat him? I need a wee. Go and just take care of him. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> icosa ball, bro. We can look after him. Obviously, we can care for him in the more traditional way, but it'd be a lot easier if he had an Icosa ball to put him in. Ask We've got this grand machine over here. All you have to do is put the Icosa balls in. <laughs> it goes whip, 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 and then they come out all uh, all happy and healthy. Well, do they Beatboxing have aside, I think he is much more of a, a traditional Icosa one. Look, we just, you didn't sign up to the easy job, did you? I mean, go, he needs your um, help. Can I um can I roll a performance check to f- fake having a heart attack? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it. Um, <laughs> that was a natural one. Oh, um, uh, okay. Oh my my heart. <laughs> oh, it's really hurting. Now we all did sort of GCC, you know, level science. We did sort of key stage three biology type things, and, and we were know, required we to all... pass this to be included in the metaphor. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um Damn. no. Um so okay, we all cool. we all kind of know the the basic things that they taught us at school. I don't know if they're still true. They changed what science is every few months, but <laughs> when we were at school they taught you that you know living things need to do a few things to be considered alive, you know, they need to move around, they need to consume things, they need to you know breathe of breathe something usually reproduce and what's the other word? excrete usually. Mm. So um <laughs> given that the Galabdur is something that is Alive. It's gonna be a mudslide. <laughs> okay, cool. Roll a uh, roll a d10 for me. Oh god. Oh. Uh, a six. That's a quick viscosity check. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the Bristol scale. <laughs> <laughs> a six comes out. I mean, I'm not gonna say too much here. I'm not, I don't want to go into the excruciating details of the fact but i think let me let me describe to you what comes out in in terms of the uh, utensils you might need to clean it up um <laughs> probably you, you probably wouldn't need a full mop and bucket but certainly some sort of absorbent material would be required um <laughs> where's yellow uh, when you need him possibly a possibly a wet wipe maybe um <laughs> it's a good job it's a good job I haven't didn't have a curry last night, or that would be lava. <laughs> it's a, a small pile just sort of drops out of you as you try to attempt this sort of heart attack maneuver, and you just sort of go oop, and it drops out as a little oh. sort of a soft, yeah, a cough by soft peaty splatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh God! Oh no! Look what Look he's how done! Poor Quick, he is. Get him into the care center! Get him into the care center! And from out of uh, one of those, you know, you know, you see them in movies. The doors that swing both ways, the double doors, and the gurney comes rushing through, um, and they come out at breakneck <laughs> speed. Door. And yeah, and a few orderlies sort of manhandle you onto this reinforced gurney and quickly whisk you away off into a back top, room. Sort of whisk. Like a... Don't die yeah. on me! Don't you dare die! <laughs> but he's just pounding on rock. Yeah, just beating yeah. into rock. Rubble. He's got. He's there with a sort of uh, rock hammer, um, <laughs> just sort of pounding away. Derek's just farting, <laughs> <laughs> leaving a small sort of peaty trail behind. <laughs> Clean up on aisle. Um, it's not an art, really. If um, if Derek doesn't shit himself, 
That's true, yes. yeah. <laughs> it's usually me. Yeah. yeah to be fair. Habit. Fart failure. Well, you know, he, he rolls ones quite a lot on performance. I, do. I don't Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I you should have stopped rolling those 20s before we started uh, recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I regret 20s. it. Now I, I got all the 20s out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it's important. It's, you know, character building. There was another um, one, by the way. <laughs> brilliant. So the nurse says uh, says to you, Keth, he says, can I take a name, please? Uh, of course. Uh, Emperor... Fa- no, it's not Emperor Fabulous. It's Keth Frostiron. Emperor... Oh, Keth. Keth. Emperor Keth Frostiron. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I see your uh, competitor's ID, please? Of course. Here it is. You, you do have one of these. You were given a... Mm, yes, in my... In my <laughs> um, uh, potential champions pack. So yes. uh, here you go. Yeah. Excellent. He jots down the number and uh yep. seven. There we go. Yep, seven, apparently. <laughs> uh last one of the day, but it's number seven. They just held on to it just for lols. <laughs> <laughs> this guy should get a job at Argus. Is that um double O? <laughs> double O. Uh, double uh, no. No, sadly not. The name Quadruple. Is Frost Iron. Emperor Keth Frost Iron. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, uh, Mr. Emperor Keth Frostiron, your gallop will be with us for a few hours, but uh, he should make a full recovery, although we will have to look into what's giving him the shits. Uh, what have you been feeding him? Uh, he's very... Well, I've always believed in having free-range Icosmon, so who knows what he's been eating. Free-range, <laughs> so, okay. Right, and he's jotting all this down in a sort of pad. He... And uh, he says, well, you'll have to come back in a few hours, or you can sit and wait if you like. Uh, my name's Nurse Boy, if you're interested. <laughs> 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 well called, you may have met some of my, well you may have met some of my cousins, uh, Nurse Boy or Nurse Boy. <laughs> 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 or perhaps you met my, uh, my stepbrother, Step Boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a nurse as well, so we just call him Nurse Boy. Your family reunions must be fun. <laughs> it's a family well, business. We wouldn't make things any more complicated, would we? <laughs> oh, yeah, It'd be well, so easy to get call. you guys mixed up otherwise. <laughs> so it's very clear. Oh, uh, how could you possibly get us mixed up? I don't look anything like my, my cousin Nurse Boy. Or no. my other cousin Nurse Boy. No, no. And no, we no. don't look like our cousin Nurse Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and none of us at all look look anything like our stepbrother, stepboy, the nurse, <laughs> aka nurse boy. <laughs> yeah, aka nurse boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to wait because you will notice, of course, that I have a freckle just here, and he indicates a point on his cheek. And nurse boy has the same freckle, but just here, and indicates pretty much the same spot. <laughs> Oh, of course. With a really <laughs> chubby orc finger. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see what he's pointing at. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, yes. Yes, of course. But I'm not going to wait around here because, it, frankly, it stinks. So I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back later on. Okay, okay. Well, call it call it an hour or so and uh, check back in, okay? Oh, an hour. Perfect. That's really special. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Keth. Do you have plans or something? <laughs> but it went from a few hours to an hour. So I was like, "Oh, excellent!" He just VIP. likes to abandon you in a ball at a hospital. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Oh. Every time I shit myself, fair weather friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, it smells again. I'm off. <laughs> What's happening then, Keth? What are you going to do? It is time for me to leave the Icosa Center. And okay. go and see what my other, um, uh, well, the other two are up to, and hopefully getting some icosa balls because so I need one for Dirk. Okay, so as you step outside, uh, you spot Cash Etchum uh, just walking along, clutching some himself things from the icosa mart, <laughs> I guess. A po- a a a icosa bot sphere, I think. Just, yeah. just the one. Just the one. We didn't, we didn't half inch it. You know, no, okay, fine. Yeah, you and, actually uh, did buy something. <laughs> yeah, you did buy something. I'm and quite impressed still, with you. We still had to do this a, a crazy distraction just to get out because the, ch- the the shopkeeper got all chatty. Yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you a load of questions. I can't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know. 
<laughs> oh dear. Uh, you you spot uh, you spot Cash Etchin walking towards you. Cash, how's it going? It's me, Malrus. <laughs> oh oh, <laughs> yes, I can understand. I mean, I can understand you. I forgot. <laughs> You're not just going to shrug your shoulders <laughs> petulantly. It's fine. I know who you are. <laughs> Malrus, how many balls did he get? Just just the one. I need more. Because I'm going to use <laughs> that mean... one. I'm going to use that one for Derek. Because I need to put him in one. And he's being all healed up at the moment. But uh, we need backup. So I need you to whisk in there and get a couple more. How much did that cost Does you, it... by the way? Was 10 gold enough? It was exactly, surprisingly, the right amount. Oh, perfect. Well, here's 20 gold. <laughs> Ding! Um, but I think you should go in there and get them because there's a very chatty shopkeeper in there and <laughs> oh, I cannot <laughs> talk. They cannot it's understand Mal- me. It's Malrus's unless, art, unless, <laughs> unless you want to send in Jeff, wherever the hell he's gone, and he can just get them for free. <laughs> I know where they are Ooh. now. Mara showed me to them. Oh, perfect. I mean, it's for the greater good. So the greater good. For the it's greater for good. I'm doing well, it Okay, well, I'll you. chill with... Okay, Sal. Mash out here, and if you could just whisk in there a couple of my <laughs> Kosa balls, that'd be great. We'll save All 20 right. gold as well. Does, um, could someone come in with me to like act as a bit of a distraction? I know I can make things invisible, but it's a lot easier to make things invisible when they don't disappear in front of a person. Like People are generally less suspicious. That is an excellent point. Like, if someone could get him to like get the smokes off the back shelf behind him, then I can just <laughs> take them off the front counter. <laughs> I've never, never seen that option in a Pokemon game. <laughs> <laughs> buy, <laughs> buy smokes. <laughs> No, this is what Pokemon a weirdly after out of 9 context, uh, I do it every single time. Out of context reference there. I don't, I don't, you know, what made you think about that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I was, you know, thinking about my childhood when I used to want to buy smokes. <laughs> First place you always checked was the Pokemon Mart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that might have been when you were going wrong, mate. <laughs> I think there was a, there was a mini game, and I think it was Pokemon Sapphire, where you had what, to hang what is around. This reference? What are you referencing hang, to? Hang around outside and ask a, uh, an older man to go in and buy them for you. <laughs> <laughs> weird that you keep bringing up Pokemon, man. Nice. It's Pokemon. such a weird out of context <laughs> yeah, reference, like, isn't it? Mm. Nothing that links it to now. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, so, are we doing that? Are you going back into the? Uh, you, yeah. You, once more into the fray, dear friends, once more. I am, mm-hmm. and I'd like to sit on the shoulder initially of whoever is going to join me. I'm going to I'm currently on Maurice's shoulder. To change appearance. Ooh, okay. Okay. In to into, into, into the shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Just to really fuck with him. Yes, yes. <laughs> that would distract him in fairness. Like, like in Terminator, do the Groucho Marx mirror thing. Yeah, roll, uh, roll deception or what? What do we have? What do we roll? Deception. Are you doing that in front of him? Yeah. Or are you doing no, that no, I'll do that before in? I go back in. All right, okay. Because okay, I yeah, would yeah. really roll fuck deception. with him if you were like cash etch him and then into him in front of his eyes. <laughs> fuck me, <laughs> he might have a stroke. That's <laughs> a, a sixteen. I think, oh, uh, you know, with a sixteen, you do a pretty damn good impression of the of the shopkeeper. I think his close family and friends would probably think there was something a bit weird about the way he looks. But other yeah, <laughs> to, the, to the average, yeah, the yeah, to, but to the uh, to the average shop goer, they would swear blind that you were that you were the uh, the shopkeeper. <laughs> Arkwright. <laughs> oh yes, I was just about to say, what's his name? <laughs> Are we all going in then? I'm going to come in. Above the door, it says Arkwright, Arkwright, and Arkwright. <laughs> but it's all spelt with a C. Of course. Arkwright. <laughs> Arkwright, there you go. Arkwright. <laughs> Retcon. Arkwright. <laughs> Writing that. I'm going to go nice. on to. Uh, Jeff, Jeff's going to jump onto Malrus's shoulder then as he sees him turn into the shopkeeper. Arkwright. Um, yep. Into it, yep, into him. Then I, I, Jeff, Jeff jumps onto his shoulder. Oh, okay. Visible or invisible? And he's turning in, uh, turning invisible at the same time, yeah. Oh, he's okay, he's cool. generally... Assume Jeff's invisible unless stated otherwise rather than the other <laughs> way around. 
yeah, probably yeah. the easiest okay. way to go with this. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll let you know when uh, I'm invisible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to take us a lot less time that way around. <laughs> so you head back into the shop. There's the tinkle of the bell again, and there's a bit of mad. There's a bit of chaos. <laughs> Is is uh, Keth coming in with us? Yep, Keth's going too. Cool, right? So all three, all three of you, but visibly two of you walk in, and you can see there's a slightly younger looking orc there, just restacking some of the shelves. <laughs> and uh, you, the the, uh, the shopkeeper is uh, is there at the uh, is there at the back of the shop, just um, serving another orc that's in there. And um, this this young orc looks up when he hears the bell, and he goes, uh, "Oh." Uh, boss, yes. Uh, just stacking the shelves. I'll just nod <laughs> approvingly <laughs> at him. Didn't it? Didn't even see you go past me. Uh, okay. Uh, what? What do you want me? Uh, is there anything you need? I'll just sh- shake, shake my head, and just carry on walking towards the back. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> sure. Excuse I, me. Hold well on. Oh yes. So I could. I could have sworn he was... Yes, sorry, sir. Sorry, yes, hello. Um, could you tell me, just just when are you open? Uh, now. <laughs> what time? <laughs> right Do now. you ever close? No, well, we're, we're open all hours. All open all hey. hours. <laughs> there we go. Yes, you <laughs> got the reference back. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have just let you... oh. Now you fall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you idiot. The um, less successful Roddy Barker TV show. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Roddy Corbett around here? Um, <laughs> uh, have you got any cigarettes at <laughs> the back? Just over there. Are there any cigarettes back there? Uh, yeah, but they're terrible for you. That's fine. I'm sure. All right then. Text. Okay. Uh, and he heads off to the back, and as he approaches the back, he sees. Um, Maurus, the the boss, um, and he also sees his boss stood behind the counter, serving another orc, um, some penny sweets or something. Um, and the icos, just to check, the icosospheres are on the counter, aren't they? Uh, In- they're on a shelf. They were on the shelf. He was actually sort of rearranging. Oh, epic! Then at that point, I thought they were on the counter. At that point, then uh, Jeff's going to grab four. Nice, got four claws. Okay, roll sleight of hand with advantage. I was hoping there'd be like a Ferrero Rocher tower. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know, yes, that's what he was building. He was rearranging (laughs) all the icosaspheres into a sort of pyramid of icosaspheres. So, Um, sorry, you rolled a 19 sleight of hand? 19 total, yeah. Yes, okay. And where, where are you taking these icosaspheres from? On this pyramid of icosaspheres. Oh, oh on, on the top. I'm not. I'm not going to be that guy. Uh, we oh, okay, be cool. We're trying to be subtle about this. Uh, He's not okay, a monster, cool. or is he? Yes. Yeah. Subtle. Walking no, in. I just wanted to give you the choice. Walking in with an um, exact clone. So while shopkeeper. that's going on, <laughs> I'm trying to be subtle. I'm playing the invisibility card. <laughs> while that's going on, um, young uh, the the young orcish shop assistant is stunned at uh, the sight of two of his bosses. Um, of which there is only one undercover uh, in boss, front of right? him. <laughs> well, undercover boss, so you go dressed as the boss. Yeah, <laughs> is the ultimate. Well, I think you fundamentally coming. misunderstood the purpose of this show. <laughs> it's it not so other people go in dressed as I'll the never boss. Suspect he's undercover. He's so though. much yeah. more interesting. Exactly. Send a random guy in dressed as the boss and see how long it takes people to notice. <laughs> I am doppel. There's a show, guys. <laughs> yeah, some episodes. Some episodes are like ten minutes long. <laughs> some episodes are like two minutes. Some episodes are about four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this week, and when the fuck will they notice? <laughs> yeah. Why oh, hasn't my wife noticed? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> they sent him home as well. You just yeah. kidnap a guy, basically. You just place his life. Picturing the, you're just picturing the Mercedes F1 team, and some random guys just turned up dressed as Toto Wolf, just st- <laughs> strolls into the paddock, just <laughs> and then crashes just straight into telling the what to do. You know, <laughs> it's very apparent. Meanwhile, as as he gets Toto Wolf is already in there. You know, yeah. just <laughs> of course. Why is everybody listening to this guy? original right, Toto cool. gets arrested um, taken away yeah uh, so um, I mean Malrus 
I guess the the uh, the shop assistant is shocked. The original OG boss hasn't noticed you yet. What do you do? Um, I'm just gonna... in this split moment, this split second moment. I'm giving you I'm giving you the moment to make the first move here. I'm going to walk behind the um, sort of, I guess, aisle, as it were, all the shelves, so that he can't see me. I'm going to roll performance or whatever it was again to change into him. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) I know what you mean. Like in a film where someone passes just in front of the camera and you're like, the main character's gone, or they're yeah. just yeah. yeah, or a mirror. Oh, perfect. Yes, I hope this. Uh, well. Okay, yeah. Um, roll performance. Uh, roll deception, please. As a backup deception. plan, you could just like oh, no. pretend to, like you know, you see people walk behind the back of the sofa and they pretend to like walk downstairs, <laughs> Ooh. Or, or in an elevator. <laughs> he rolls, or, he rolls or a mirror, and the shopkeeper's like, "I didn't know we had a lift installed there." Seventeen. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. seventeen. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good one as well. So in this moment, let me paint, paint the picture of the scene for you. What's happened is that uh, Maurus, you've you've strolled past this guy who's turned to help Keth, has turned back and seen the back of his boss at the end of the aisle and the front of his boss behind the counter just in front of him with another sort of orc there. Yep. And then he's gone, hold on, what? And started walking toward power, briskly walking towards the, uh, the end of the aisle. You've turned the corner at the end of the aisle, turned into him, mm-hmm. And have now stepped back out. And at this point, uh, Orkwright looks up and goes, bah, 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 bah. No, just... Granville. Granville. That's all, uh, folks. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Granville. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he goes, what the bloody hell's going on here? Hey, Granville, you didn't say you had a twin? I'm just going to stack shelves. Jeff Silverbow! As I shout to everyone, I've got it, guys! <laughs> <laughs> what the bloody hell was that? What's going on? I What's going on is I've not been served yet. Getting <laughs> 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 sassy. <laughs> what kind of customer uh, service do you call this? Will what's you get back over you? here, please? Granville turns around and goes, I'm so sorry, sir. Something very strange is happening here. There, there was two of him. Now there's two of me. There's uh, what I don't. Uh, At this point, you know what your I would have liked is. to have um, completely disappeared from the shop to make it look like he's crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, roll stealth. Okay. He's just gonna walk out. <laughs> Thirteen. Let's just check. See if anyone notices you, shall we? Do they fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that will. Uh, get Not me. with a three and a four, they don't. And <laughs> <laughs> hopefully that will get me and uh, Jeff out of the shop. Well, I mean, Jeff's invisible, so you get out of the shop, no but problem. I couldn't Jeff open is... the door because I'm invisible. The yeah, door but Keth's still happen. in there. Yeah, yeah. But the, door, mm. the door sensor is closed, so I, I need Maurus to yeah. walk out so I can actually get out the door. So Maurus mm-hmm. is now exiting, and so I can, I'm, in my, I'm invisible. And as soon as I see that door open with Maurus leaving, I'm like, fucking go, go, go. Okay, roll perception oh, to shit, see if you see beat my... his... If I see him, see yeah. if you see him leave. Yeah, yeah, because he's stealthy as fuck. You've got to beat his. Mm-hmm. You've got to beat his stealth. I've got no fucking chance there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... it looks like you'll be coming out with me. Don't worry. <laughs> and using your dragons. <gasps> Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's my boy. Congratulations. I, it's fine. Boy. I got. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fine. With a nat 20, you, out of the corner of your yes! multifaceted dragony eyes, you spot uh, a, a drift of uh, of some dust just move in a little eddy, and uh, you hear the sound of a sort of orcish foot, footstep, and you turn, and you see the back of Maurus just literally hot-footing it back out the door, and the, uh, the doors have gone out and are just beginning to close. <laughs> as you <laughs> whoom, straight out of the door after him, it's not one. Of, it's not one of those doors. It's a bell tinkling. So somehow everyone in <laughs> the shop didn't hear the bell, the door go. That's because I little... held it. Ah, there you go. Yeah, All right. Very good. <laughs> Very good. With, with your natural twenty. Yep. And um, I'm on Maris's shoulder outside, and I drop the four balls on the floor in front of him. And go, 
There we go. He should like <laughs> that. I'm going to pick work. them yeah. up. It's the, it's the mark of a good shoplifter is that you immediately just disperse <laughs> all the goods in <laughs> front of the shop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Divvy just, up the, uh, the loot. Final They'll talk. never see this. <laughs> no. Just give it straight to Malrus. There you go. It could look like he's just dropped it, but he looks like an, you know, a coastal mm. train. If it works in Grand Theft Auto, it's fine. But if a car wash works in Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> that works here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. We all know that cleaning your car uh, does, turns it into a different does, color. <laughs> turns it in, yeah, paints it a different color, and um, police are incapable of identifying cars <laughs> of different colors. Um, they should it's really a fact of life. Reg recognition in, in yeah. GTA. I mean, yeah, they solve a lot more problems, wouldn't they? <laughs> I mean, yeah. The criminal classes still, don't have clean uh, cars. No. no. If you have a clean car, you're not a criminal. I like to think they all have the transporter tri- number plates that flip round. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kef, yeah. to uh, to speed this along, is there anything <laughs> Cause... you hoped to achieve in this in this, in this shop? shop. Other uh, than yes, exactly. It's all I all I came in to do was just achieve bluster and distraction. It was like, do you know what? Okay. I think that you guys are open too long. You're seeing things. I don't even want any cigarettes. They're terrible for you. And then I'll just bluster out of the shop, and I'll knock over the icosamon uh, for Roshi Rosh in my bluster <laughs> on the way out. Um. Okay. Just just roll to hit. Don't roll a one. <laughs> oh, God. I get trapped in a ball. Uh, please don't roll a one now, Tom, after you've said that. <laughs> yeah, don't give him ideas and then before you roll. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. I got an 11. Okay. Yeah, it's that's fine. That's always when well, I happens. did panic that's when I first when... <laughs> saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, knock, you knock the tower of uh, Icosa Spheres Ooh. over and you, uh, you hear Granville in the background just going, Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Never saw David Jason do that on Open All Hours. Oh, for fuck's sake. (laughs) Finally, the bits you've all been waiting for, and never mind those four and their ridiculousness, I can see that the street smart and savvy bunch like you have come here looking for a snappy wit and intelligent insight. No, not Pedro's, mine. So... Strap in you lot, it's time for another moment with the master. The absolute first thing I must do is present you all with a gigantic thank you from all of us who call Roll Britannia home. Without your support, tying off the rigging and scraping off the barnacles, we would have sunk faster than miracles with Maurus' sphere ratings. So, it's terrific that you've scampered aboard again so that uh, the maritime mayhem can continue. And don't just stand there. You're going to be hit by an incoming random celebrity shout out! Hmm. One of the world, one of the world of music this week. It would seem that it's her birthday. Gloria Estefan has offered to re record the Royal Britannia theme tune after listening to the show. Well, Gloria, we're very happy with what we've got, so we'll have to turn you down. Although, writing on this scroll does look remarkably similar to Jeff's, so I don't think she'll be too disappointed. Right! It's shout out time! Again, Pedro, on time! Well, I'm glad to see that you've turned a corner. Although, I hope you're not building up to another pay rise request. Sunflower seeds are hard to get hold of. I'm not lying. How many sunflowers do you see around here? Now, where's that bloody squirrel? Right. I wish you'd just hand it to me in your claw. You get very bitey when you're stroppy. Now be gone, feathered friend. Now, this week's shout-out goes to roll for luck who commented on our Facebook page after some extensive research, we have found that there is no situation that cannot be improved by fried chicken and margaritas. Probably. Ah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the show anyway, and we're so glad that you're enjoying it. Ugh, Pedro has pooped on my desk again. Yellen! Hmm. <clears throat> I have a huge pile of scrolls here that say, James, can I have my own shout-out? James! I've got a great idea for the next story arc. James, is Kef actually going to admit defeat about his magic brew? Well, the answer to all of those questions, apart from perhaps the last one, is yes. All you need to do is get in touch, and luckily, that couldn't be simpler to do. One quick search on social media, and there you'll find the good old ship of Royal Britannia waiting to set sail. Whichever one you'd like, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even Discord, we're there. And we love chatting with you. So, don't be shy and get involved. Now, if you're really enjoying the show, why not give us a little hand and give us a lovely five-star review, eh? It only takes a few seconds to do, and some kind words from you really helps keep the mighty ship of Royal Britannia skipping across the waves, and it also helps more fantastic people just like you to discover the show. 
And don't forget, bash that subscribe button, otherwise you'll find yourself at the mercy of Jeff's latest invisible pranks, and he's probably behind you right now. Mm. <laughs> right, enough! You need to get back to the action, and there's no way those four can go along without adult supervision, so go! So, a bit of time has passed, and uh, you, you collect Derek from the uh, the Icosamon Center. Um, can I uh, can I just jump in very quickly, on. just to tell you what you see? As Derek's all healed and he's full of energy, and stuff. yeah, let's let's play this um, scene out. So, Keth, you arrive back in the Icosamon Center. Uh, Nurse Boy comes out to uh, to meet, meet you and uh, ask for your your name and your uh, Icosamon uh, competition number. And uh, she's Emperor oh yes, this is, uh, number seven, <clears throat> uh, M- Mr. Emperor Kethrostein, <laughs> number seven. Yep, and uh, yeah, we've got your gallop door. He's uh, he's doing really well, actually, really, really well. Yeah. Um, a little bit too and... well. As uh... <laughs> and how are his bowels? <laughs> you see a line. You see a line of nurses coming out like Betty Hill and, <laughs> and Derek chasing them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's party. back on his feet. He's having a sexy party. And then stopping, turning into a boulder as they run past again, and then chasing them again. <laughs> as you can see, he's uh, up and at him. Uh, In him as well. Look at that. Hard as a uh, rock. He seems to think Good it's to some see. sort of sexy party here. Uh, please, could you take him away? It's a sexy party. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'd be much obliged if uh, you you didn't hurt, get him hurt again because he's a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, sure good, he is. Good laugh, but uh, but uh, a bit much for See, for the, for the young ladies, as they I'm, say. Uh, my uh, sorry, ladies, my rides here, but uh, <laughs> if you ever wanna? I don't know. I have weird rock sex or anything. <laughs> Just give me a call. Get your rocks off. Get your thank rocks you. off. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It's all right, we'll just cut out the weird rock <laughs> that sex. Was that, was, anyway, that was so much have better. Weird rock sex. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Do you want to do that line again? No. no that's <laughs> like I think it's more direct. <laughs> okay, <laughs> completely cool. not. Fine. Weird rock sex. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> thanks, nurse. Um, and then I'm going to uh, just like, I'll like fist bump him on the arm, like punch him on the arm, really amicably. Um, Roll to hit. That was a four. You break his arm in four places. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you, you you go to sort of fist bump him or bump bump him with the shoulder, and you just sort of just graze his back a little bit because you kind of misjudged <laughs> just it. Completely clock him. <laughs> oh, so it's like, oh yes, um, thank you for that, uh, Gallop Door. Um, very nice of you. Good, Gallop good Gallop Door. Gallop Door. He's got a very strange inflection. Have you been teaching him to say something? No, he's always sounded like... I mean, all the other gallop doers I've ever known have had really squeaky voices, so I don't know why he's got this sort of voice. It's just... <laughs> it's, you know, I was thinking just the same thing only earlier. Uh, it's, right. A bunch of gallop doers together is like a boys' choir, but him, I just... I don't know why well, he Sometimes you like need that. a tenor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I don't. Uh, know. <laughs> Derek's just going right. to point to his giant, <laughs> giant rocky testicle. <laughs> Come on, I've got your favourite Icosa sphere ball for you. And, uh, Do I really have just to as just as you're about to leave, there is a blinding white light from uh, from the windows in the sort of the big swing doors that are coming out, and uh, a bit of a cheer that goes off in the background. And oh, no. nurse nurse boy goes, oh. That is good news. We've been waiting for that for the last uh, the last few hours. What is it? You've never seen that before. You must. Uh... How did you get to be here without seeing that happen? It's uh, it's an evolution. Oh, I knew it was an evolution, but he didn't know. We've had one of our one of the uh, Kosamons been sitting here, and they they've been they've he's been he's been in his uh, cocoon for quite a while, and we've been waiting for him to burst out. All I wanted to know was which I chose one it was. I know what an evolution is. Everybody knows what an evolution uh. is. What do you think I am, a oh, novice? I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you did strike me that, anyway. Right. To Mr. Emperor Kefrostein, it's, uh, it's getting on. You, uh, have, you, have you checked into your room yet? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
Good, yeah, good. Well, they're not open all hours, you know. <laughs> They're close. You won't believe what I've just been through. <laughs> I'll tell you what on the way. Now, make sure that your icosamon are all tucked away in their icosables before the opening ceremony. You've only got a couple of hours, so get yourself all brushed up, get them in their icosospheres, and uh, head down to the stadium. Mmm. Excellent. Will do. Well, thanks for everything, Nurse. Boy. Boy, your boy. Nurse boy. That's correct, yes. Me... And uh, all my cousins. Mm, I want to make sure it's, I'm the it right saves one. confusion. You see, if uh, it was a family name, we uh, we thought it'd be easier to, the, the, you know, you don't, don't want to cause any confusion. So we're all called Nurse Boy. Fascinating. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, uh, Mister Mister Emperor Kethrostein. What? Uh, yes. Yes. Not now. I'm busy. <laughs> Is that one of those? I wonder how far you as would his, have got if I hadn't his called weird you back. Feet keep going up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, uh, what, what, what's the plan, boys? To you've got, uh, you've the... got two hours before the opening ceremony. Are you going to go to your new apartment? Are you going to go and get drunk in the bar? Are you going to set fire to something? What are we going to do? I would like oh, three, to please. swing by the apartment to see if there is anything in there that might have been left. I don't know. A welcoming gift, perhaps. Ah, a little uh, chocolate on the pillow, maybe. Mm, uh, basket of fruit. Uh, spare icosa balls. Yes. Who knows? What what yeah, were yeah. on the way? Um, I assume. And, and I assume they filled me in on like all, all of the shit that's gone on in the in the market. Uh, do you? Yes. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, that's your answer. <laughs> I'm getting it. I would appreciate it if I only had to be in those icosables when I have to be. Just let me keep saying I'm free range or, or whatever. Just let me amble around. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. There are going to be some times where you're going to have to just screw well, the nut and get that. in the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hopefully it's not going to be like a long opening ceremony because these things are usually pretty quick, aren't they? For these kind of games. Oh, yeah. There's 15, <laughs> 20 minutes. Every oh, nation comes through. There's a few flags, a bit of dancing as yeah. well. Well, they're all athletes, so they'll run through. Oh, it's yes, fine. yes. I'm glad you think of me as an athlete, actually. <laughs> oh, no, I meant all of them, not... Never mind. Careful. <laughs> You're okay. a beastly at best. <laughs> so you uh, you find your way to the you find your way to the apartment and you get given a key at reception. It's a little uh, a big brass key and it's got a room number on it. And you find your way to the room and as you unlock the door to your new apartment, you head inside and your room is bathed in the uh, sunset light. Of uh, a golden light rushes in through the uh, through the windows, and you find quite a nice room there. You find um, an ensuite bathroom with a a nice double bed uh, made of cardboard. And <laughs> I wonder uh, no, if this no. could take my weight. And I'm just going to jump straight on it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, roll. Uh, I mean, acrobatics uh, or athletics. What do we think? Uh, I thought. I mean, what are you doing? Are you... I'm just gonna dive onto the bed. What athletics, are they doing in that, then. In that Let's do athletics. Video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, crush the only bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That is a twenty-four. <laughs> I mean, uh, does it surprise you to t- to know that a twenty-four hits a bed? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's but it's a, a really cardboard bed. <laughs> It really is, really it is, um, yeah, and as your weighty stone body crashes into this uh, eco-friendly cardboard bed, uh, it folds up like just so much cardboard boxes. Oh, yes, that's comfy. <laughs> so now Derek. you have a mattress on a pile of smashed cardboard. Your mattress is a bit soft, though, Kev. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Look... And then, uh, oh. Derek, I need you to get into the Icosa ball right now. Trust me, I'll let you. I I'll let you right back you. out. I promise. I don't believe you. I promise. I promise it'll be worth it. I'm gonna throw one in. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not to hit. I'm not moving from this 
lovely, comfortable position. No matter what you try and do, I'm just going to lie here forever. You can't make me get in that I go some more. That's a 17. Uh, that'll do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think it's a, a, a constitution save then, I guess. Um, yeah, that's not going to... It's not. It's not a seventeen. It's a nine. Yeah, yeah, no. That's yeah, yeah. You're then, uh, you're going in. Zoom, ball flies out, catches you. You turn into a sort of beam of red light, and you disappear inside oh, this, you co- this coastal sphere. And then you don't hear the rest of the swear, but you can imagine that it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Malrus, excellent work. I'm sure, it was. And then Kef would like to walk over to the uh, telephone and and call the uh, the what? Hmm. Is there a phone a so I can call down to reception? <laughs> no. Is there any sort of communication to get down to reception at all for my room? Yeah. Be some mm, sort of yeah, what you do rock, is you um, walk yourself out of the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get back pad on over to the, uh, the, uh, the lift and uh, head down to the ground floor and uh, pad on over to reception and uh, say, hello, I've got a question for you. Imagine I've done all of those things. So you won't believe. <laughs> yep. My bed is in... I walked into the room. My bed was destroyed. I'd like a new room. Oh, no, not again. These bloody cardboard beds. You know, we had those in just because they're eco-friendly and they decided that it would be more efficient for all the competitors to have a cardboard bed. You see, we didn't have to chop down as many trees to make them. They can all be fully recycled. And if they get broken, well, they're quite cheap to fix. So uh, what was your room number again? It was room... (coughs) The room that you gave me earlier. On this key, look. Oh, yes. (laughs) Oh, Oh, I don't Nicely know. Answer. Is that um, room number seventy-four? I see what number it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's uh, one hundred and fifty. Uh, and I got that one. I got that. I got that reference. <laughs> ha! Uh, it's one hundred and fifty. Some people think this says one hundred and fifty-one, but I'm convinced it says one hundred and fifty. So. Hmm. Let me just check here. Oh, I'm not amused by that. Uh, <laughs> uh, have I got that one as well? I don't get any of these. I don't know what you're referencing. <laughs> uh, <I don't>, <laughs> referencing? <laughs> referencing? I just said I wasn't amused. <laughs> it was a cow uh, Oh, not Moo too. And... Come on. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and... Uh... <laughs> Fucking so, hell. <laughs> so bad. Oh, no. So bad. The world needs more uh, So he, uh, he sorts you out a new room and hands you the key back and says, uh, this one should uh, should be to your liking. It's on the top floor. And uh, is it an upgrade because of the inconvenience? Upgrade. Upgrade. Hmm. Evolution. Look out. And up. Is it a customer evolution upgrade. because of the experience? I mean, that's a question, isn't it? What is an up? Grade. Is it an yeah, upgrade? I would say an upgrade would be not having to pay for any of the sphere channels that might be available to the elder gentleman or the free minibar. <laughs> oh, sir, sir would like to unlock the adult channels, would they? Uh, I mean, <laughs> that would make me feel better. If we have to spend some time watching Keth have a wank, I'm not, I'm not recording <laughs> I'm that. I'm going in the Pokeball. Yeah. I'm going in the Pokeball. I don't want to see that shit. You're going I'm there. turning my camera off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he gets really into it. Your Patreon oh, yeah, special sorry. this month is. Yeah, it's just, it's just the sound of some orcs getting it on and, and Keth just going. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's going to be clipped. I, <laughs> I said that without moving my mouth. Um. <laughs> steady, steady with the mouth references. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Uh-huh. <laughs> now about my adult sphere channels. I'll cer- certainly, sir. I can unlock those for you. They will appear on the bill. Just put. Mm, okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Um, and free mini bar, yes. Oh yes, yes. You get a whole range of uh, uh, exotic goodies that are there to support the the Icosamon master in in potentia. In there to be there, the be the very best. 
<laughs> well, that those adult channels are going to be no use if Kev's in Potentia. <laughs> they help me relax. Yeah, so you go up to your new room, and it turns out it's on it's on the penthouse floor. Um, you know, it's, there's Ooh, there's yeah, four rooms floor. in the top of this building. Uh. There's four of them. <laughs> 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 it's a much bigger room, a separate bedroom with a, a sort of living space, a dining space, a small kitchenette, and mm. uh, view a view from the from the balcony that you have. Of the entire Icosamon Stadium. Ooh. Perfect. And there is a, a hamper of fruit on the dining table. Yes, yes. that's what we wanted. And some Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be needing those. This room's going to look like a CSI um, crime scene when I finish with it. Can I roll to transform into Keth? Roll away. Roll deception. Can I also roll a, a <laughs> charisma or a will check to try and break out the... Put- Oh, yes, you can. Yes, roll a. Uh, <laughs> I was going to let you out anyway. <laughs> whatever it was. Not soon Charisma. enough. Charisma. <laughs> Charisma check. Why not? Uh, that's Twenty-three. A Twelve total. Twenty-three. 23. You, you look exactly like Keth. Twelve. No, you're still in there. <sighs> Although it does it does wobble about a bit. Oh, can I roll a perception check to see if I notice it wobble? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, Derek. Only a seven. Oh no. Uh, no, you don't yeah, say it. You're distracted by the by the hamper of fruit. Shiny <laughs> paper. He does love a passion fruit. He's got fruit. a bow. Look at he's got a ribbony bow. <laughs> does the basket like unpack itself invisibly? <laughs> so you spend some time here. Um, let's have a very quick rundown. <laughs> An apple gets a bite taken out of it. <laughs> what do you get up to for the next sort of hour and a half? Uh, I don't want to spend a whole hour and a half. I need to go out and do something else. Okay. Uh, I also don't want to spend an hour and a half in this goddamn Pokemon. I mean, Icosasphere. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I'm aware of that. Jeff knows that he, he's overheard Keth talking about the adult channels being unlocked, and he's concerned about this. So he's going to hide the remote. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Roll um, sleight of hand. Oh, well, I'll get plus five. Twelve. Uh, twelve. You, you. Yeah, I mean, you Just hide it a bit <laughs> under the yeah. under his pillow. <laughs> it's it's not so much hidden, just put in a slightly it's it's put in the sort of place that you'd put a remote, but only very okay. It's not the sort of place you typically look for the remote. Like, like on a window for example, just behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the end yeah, yeah. out, but it's not like yeah, yeah. why so would I put it's it there? Sort of there but it why there, would I put yeah. it there? Yeah. Not not like properly hidden, yeah, just sort like of like it. in a slightly weird place. <laughs> that suits me. Yeah. 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 Sound. Sound. Cool. Um, I would um, also, I would like to continue rolling to try and break out of this thing since we've got about an hour and a half or whatever it is. Uh, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, roll uh, roll three more times. Three more times. First one's a four. No. Nope. Excellent. Second one's a two. Excellent. Nope. And the third one's a 13. <laughs> uh, no. So you don't break out for the next <laughs> hour and a half. I'm just going to roll quickly. Th- hang on. I just want to quickly roll three then, see if perception checks if I notice the three wriggles. Yeah, do it. Oh, natural 20 on the first one. Um, yeah, you spot it. Okay, so then I want, as I see it wriggle, I want to press the button to let him out. He's um, clearly in distress. I just haven't got a word in yet, that's all. <laughs> I, was gonna, yeah. I just we're all gonna, I was going to go Kess, outside. What would you like to do? I was going to, I am concerned about backup for the chaps. And I want to go, we now we've got extra coastable spheres. Yep. I want to see if we can go and three find extra. three extra ones. We've got one for Derek, we've got three extra ones. Uh, four? Because we got him yeah. initially one when we bought one, and then I carried oh, four Oh, yes, out. we did, yeah. Oh, so we've got four, four extras. We've got four extras. So I either, I need, I, need some, I need some backup for the chaps. So as a last right. minute trolley dash, I want to try and find right. either steal an Icosamon or <laughs> catch one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, let's see let's let's play this out. Keth. Yes. You are in mm-hmm. uh, the equivalent of the athletes village at the Olympics. Mhm. <laughs> yep. Whip that band-aid off. Uh, just let's just let's just sort of explain that. That's, yeah. that's the sort of equivalent space you're in. <laughs> now, how many mm-hmm. uh loose Icosamon, do you think there are likely to be just wandering about by themselves? Very few, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, so what's your strategy? Tell I me, have, tell me what your plan is. I have an invisible do. friend and a shape-changing right. friend. 
who could right. steal things and deceive things for me. Okay. So, what? Where are you? Where would you like to go to try and achieve this? Hmm. I was hoping to confirm with my colleagues. <laughs> there was there was only really in my eyes one place that you could possibly go. The gym, and that's the bar. The bar. Some sort people of bet. Be drunk. Or... They might. Yes, they will. Things. They might. You could challenge people to fight. There's bar fights and things happen, don't they? So they might. You're like, I'll challenge you with a poker. And I coach someone. God, it's really slips off the tongue. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll yeah. challenge you to an I coach someone battle, and uh, then when as soon as they do it, then we'll be like, right, nab them. As soon as theirs come out, <laughs> you're like, just nab them. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's to that's the sort bar of the equivalent of of getting into a fight with a man at a pub. <laughs> Pulling out a knife and then he steals your knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just so you can steal your knife. You're waiting to see what weapons he has, and then why, as soon as he gets out with his weapons, why would you want to start a fight? You it. just pick the drunkest person in the room and pick their pockets. Yeah, there is that, but the drunkest person in the room might not have anything. It's a backup. There's multiple ideas out here. <laughs> we haven't got. Can, it, can we? Can I? Um, the world is this, your oyster uh, here, guys, guys. Guys, 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 guys. If we're having this conversation, this oh, has yeah. to be in character. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's too that's much meta gaming going okay, on here. Okay, in character, fine. locked in my Icos wall. I'm going to go to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Kef, mm. where, so, where are we going? What we're going to do is. Sorry, I'm you, aren't I? I need to sound more like you. <laughs> One second. Yeah. Grant, you talk, <laughs> then I will. <laughs> right. Right. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> 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 what we need is backup for you guys. What we need to do is I think we should go to the bar, find someone really drunk, and try and steal his Icosamon. We don't know what we're going to get, but we might get something amazing. And if we're not, we'll just set it free or something. So we've got about an hour or so. Well, well, well we could just win by trying to like battle someone instead, because I, I, we just keep stealing stuff. And, as you know, it's fun and all, but... I'm starting to feel a bit bad. Like we just keep taking like that. That guy we might not have got in. Now we took all of his badges. Like and then he wasn't like allowed in. But and he I seemed like a bit like, of a dick. I, yeah, but I still, we don't know his story. I just feel like any we, we steal it a lot at the moment. If we could get him any other way, that'd be cool. I mean, like if you want to be the very best, like no one ever was at any point, Kef, to catch them is your real test, and then to train them is your cause. You gotta travel across the land, search far and wide. Each Icosamon has to understand the power that's inside. And I'm starting to think that mine is more than just stealing stuff. I can't <laughs> believe you've written all that down. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was really rather beautiful. I can't believe how heavily we're about to be sued. <laughs> but listen, I well, also I don't feel the great about stealing stuff. But we need that piece of eight. And that is more important than keeping it out of the Empire's hands. Because there's something else in the background here. It's if, we, if we have to break a few rules for the greater good, it's worth the greater, greater good. good. <laughs> yes, I was really hoping you guys would do that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. They're all lucky they're not dead yet. Because usually our thing is we just go in guns blazing. Hmm. Me, uh, while you feel the the Icosa will violently shake in your pocket. <laughs> no, you're I out. Let you out. Oh, you've let me out. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. While you hear Derek go, oh, I wish um, something about guns blazing. I wasn't necessarily prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can all of you roll a perception check, please? Yes. Natural 19. I got a 22. Okay. Not net. Uh, 17 plus 5. One sec. For those who are curious. I'm surprised you got an unnatural 22 (laughs) on a 20 sided dice. 15. (laughs) 15. I don't know why I felt the need to clear that up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But then Maros did it the other Uh, day. He was like, 22. I'm sorry. Uh, 20. (laughs) He didn't Uh, lead with a natural 20, which was amazing. I yeah. got an 18 on that. 18. Cool. So all of you here from outside your room, uh, a sound that weirdly you recognize. 
Oh, can you hear you that familiar it noise? Only earlier today. Oh, that sounds familiar. The yeah, sound of my ears got deja vu. Some cheerleaders. <gasps> oh God. <sighs> you can hear oh, the cheerleaders. Oh, that's a horrible noise, uh, Derek. Very, that uh, wasn't very meant subtly to be going. sexual. That was just meant to be a grunt of frustration. I'm sorry. It's a new form. I'm still getting used to it. Oh, it's that little bell end. He got in. Oh, that's good. How oh, did he get why in? Why he have got in? Well, because we stole all his badges. <clears throat> stole all his badges? No. <laughs> Will you keep the noise down? That's a really we go back mean in the thing sphere to ball. do. Is this when I was in the... Oh, my God. Yeah. We had to get into the tournament, and you were no help, just well, lying around I having a lie left in. out of. You needed a nap. You I'm glad I'm here here. here to be the moral centre of this group. <laughs> that is the only time you have ever said that. <laughs> I didn't even know you knew the word moral, to be honest, Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's the short form of the word immoral. <laughs> Ah, right. <laughs> ah, there's the Derek we know. <laughs> okay. But yeah, oh, we nicked his badges, bad. and he only had three left, and he needed five, so we had to go and beat two trainers in half an hour, and he fucking smashed or, it. Or he probably nicked, nicked a couple Oh, yeah, he well. might have. Oh, yeah, I didn't consider he could have been a dick as well. Mm. Shall we go fight him? <laughs> we could go beat him up. Nick, nick a couple of his I go someone. Boom. I should there probably we go. try fighting at some point. I might be really good at it. Let's go I see. Mean, this is the first time for everything, Jeff. I've been pretty good so far. I've done lots of good stealings and yeah. we've got in. What and are you? Uh, what I'm are your plans? There? Black I can bite him like this, and I want to try and bite Derek. Oh God! Okay, roll to hit. Oh, Don't trash my new sweet. Hey, I had to blag my way into this. Eighteen. Uh, that does hit. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I have stats that I can use now. I've not actually used the fighting fairy dragon stats yet. This is exciting times. Is okay, it... so bite, bite, bad. <laughs> I have a plus seven to hit, and it's, so it's a melee weapon attack. Definitely hit, yeah, so it'd be more, it'd be 26, or whatever, to hit. Yeah, yeah 25. Uh, so yeah, and then I do one piercing damage. Oh, Aren't you damn. resistant to... So you oh, do yeah. half a piercing damage. <laughs> so what happens then? Does it, do, do you round up? I've... I you mean, you do round, round up, up, so yeah. it is still one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, these are new rocks they've just put in. Max damage! <laughs> <laughs> they've, um, they've literally mortared some new rocks yeah. like into the... <laughs> ah, the mortar's still a little bit set. wet. Yeah, yeah. As he does it, Jeff's going to turn visible. And so there's just this butterfly, cat-sized butterfly winged dragon hanging off Derek's arm like ah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Can I perceive Jeff? I mean, he's visible, so yes. Excellent. Yeah. Let it be noted. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you can't turn into him. He's not humanoid. Oh, damn yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to yeah. say. I've shown you before. It was a wonderful exchange, though. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've got a list going. Yeah, yeah. Of okay. who you've seen. Cool. Oh, <laughs> nice. Doppelganger vision. Love it. Okay. Are you going to go and uh, investigate Barry then? Yes. Derek, you need to get, get back in the ball. Just for... Just for... No. Just for... Just... Um, I was why? There. Give me a good excuse, a good reason why. I told you only when it's urgent. Only when it's absolutely needed, like at the opening ceremony. Well... This could get us a couple more Icosamon, and we get to beat a dickhead. And you love doing that. Yeah, but I could do that just as easily outside of the ball. No, but you ruin it all. And then you get to fight more people if you pull this off. I Can't don't believe you. Let's him. just go downstairs. I'm just going to throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll You're the hit. master, Dad. Uh, De- Keth? Sorry. Do you just call me Dick Keth? Uh, no. Does he have to roll to hit, or do no. I just roll it? So, yeah, I thought you just called me Dad Dick uh, Keth. I mean, if he's thrown it at you, so he's got yeah. to he's got to hit you with it. Okay, so I rolled this just a roll to hit, isn't it? Sixteen. Yeah, that is my armor class. Oh, yeah, so that hits you. Does it? Uh, and then a Constitution saving throw, I guess. My Constitution saving throw would be an eighteen. So I have to roll. I mean that more than eighteen. No, I. I I mean, I, I'm gonna say that's that's a that's a save. 
Go so the, the ball, re- he rejects the ball and it flies back to your hand. <laughs> and we'll be back where we started. Let's just go downstairs. I mean, Cash Etchup didn't seem to mind that I was out of a poke. I mean, on Icosis. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that strange speech impediment thing. You keep saying poker in front of everything. That gambling, you've really got to get sorted. Mm-hmm. Cash Etchup didn't seem to mind that I would poke him in the face. <laughs> So you're heading to the door. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start heading towards the door. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as Cats you're approaching the door, the sound of uh, the sound of Barry's cheerleaders gets uh, a little louder. And you can also hear uh, the sound of what sounds like um, a sort of clicking sound as you open the door. You're greeted by a blinding flash of yeah. light, and another one, and another one. I'm going to just the paparazzi are here. Jeff's going to turn invisible again. Um, Derek's going to put his hands over his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see in the hallway the sight of Barry with his cheerleaders and lots of flashing white lights as uh, someone is uh, taking some uh, some pictures using uh, the latest in imp temp technology. It uses imp artists and uh, magical flashes to paint very fast pictures of uh, of people, and uh, there's a there's a, really a character. There's a there's a sort of figure there wearing a, a sort of vest with many pockets all over it, and uh, he's saying, uh, uh, he's saying, oh yes, lovely, 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 and another one. Oh yes, and here yes, and uh, and and smile, smile yes. Now, now put your arms around each other. Oh yes, 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 and. Uh, you can see quite clearly that Barry is being photographed outside his uh, his new suite. Keth, hmm? do you think do you think we could kidnap him? Oh, for when God's he's sake, Malrus, can we not have one mission where you don't do something right, drastically dark? I I was just going to photo bomb it, Malrus. <laughs> On the Icosaman Center, Derek got nice and fast, but Nurse Boy is the one who's had to deal with his shits. And the sphere hoist began with Moira changing forms. Kath is trying to the shopkeep while Jeff grabs the balls. They had to pick up Derek, who's having a sexy party. Then at their digs, Derek's putting his ball, cause breaking beds is naughty. Kev asks for porn. Jeff eats some fruit. Then outside the door, is is that a photo shoot? If Morris kidnaps Barry, what will he do with him in there? Well, I guess you'll find out next time on Roll Britannia! Now then, you lot, we need your help. We need to make our piratical adventure simply the best D&D 5e podcast out there on the seven seas. So, we've decided to be very brave indeed and launch our own Roll Britannia Patreon page. And don't you worry, though we may be scoundrels and vagabonds in the Shattered Lands, we're certainly not going to be stealing your hard-earned booty to line our coffers. All of the money we raise will be ploughed right back into the show so we can be the best that we can be so what's in it for me i hear you say well there's a whole treasure chest worth to be had there's exclusive buccaneer prologues so that you can learn some of the secrets of our favorite heroes and where it all began you'll also be able to read the finest tabloid on the high seas the daily teledath you can get your hands on arc exclusive merchandise too that you won't find in our shop and the best part your very own handcrafted, beautifully made and totally unique piece of crap art drawn just for you by your favourite buccaneer. Just look out for Roll Britannia on Patreon.com or even easier, follow the links in our social media or Linktree pages and let us navigate the way for you. And worry not, the nautical antics of the Roll Britannia buccaneers will still be available every Wednesday as usual absolutely free. After all, we certainly wouldn't want any of our amazing and loyal fans to be spending any more than they can afford. We wouldn't have got anywhere without you and all the other awesome fans out there. So, with your help and your support, you, yes, you, 
can make this show even better.